We are Mars Rover Manipal from Manipal Academy of Higher Education, a team of passionate undergraduates developing rovers capable of Mars exploration. The team has been competing in various rover challenges since 2016 and has won laurels on multiple occasions. The European Rover Challenge, with its unique focus on automation and ingenuity, motivates us to learn and enhance our skills, thus encouraging us to grow as a team. The remote edition format not only makes it easier for teams to engage with the competition by reducing costs incurred, but also broadens the scope of interaction and raises the level of competition by allowing teams with weaker financial backgrounds to participate at the global level. The team is divided into subsystems based on their respective tasks, namely the maintenance, navigation and science subsystems. New members of the team are put through a training phase where the recruits are given a series of tasks designed to prepare them for the challenges presented by the competition. Over the last three months, the team has been meticulously preparing for each task. The science subsystem has been working on creating relevant databases and practicing the analysis of previous year's Mars Yards. The maintenance subsystem has been designing search pattern algorithms along with scripting motion plans for the UR3 arm while the navigation subsystem has been optimizing various efficient planning algorithms and fusing sensor data using an unscented Kalman field. The maintenance task is initiated by executing a custom search pattern algorithm to scan the Aruco tags and estimate the corresponding pose of each tag. The Aruco detect package and dynamic transforms are used to estimate poses. The quaternions obtained from Aruco tag ID 10 are used to determine the end effector's link angle for picking up and attaching the IME module. The panel's inspection takes place in a similar fashion, utilizing the poses stored on the ROS parameter. Server. The ID of the hidden button is stored before closing the panel. The actuation of the hidden button takes place using Cartesian path planning. Task completion is marked by return to the home position. To automate the rover's traversal for the navigation task, we have used the Blender file provided and converted it into a point cloud which is then parameterized to produce an optimal 2D map. AR tags are used alongside a UKF from the robot localization package to determine the pose of the rover. Dijkstra's algorithm has been implemented using the move base package. The rover uses a preset cost map to find an optimal optimal path for autonomous traverse. Recovery behaviors like cost map clearing and rotate recovery are also implemented. Point cloud data from the Z2 camera is processed using the point cloud library to eliminate the ground plane and detect obstacles. The detected obstacle is used to generate a local cost map and then a local path is planned. The goal of the science task is to carry out a thorough geological analysis of the Mars yard, which we achieve by conducting a topographical evaluation of the region. This, along with our database of Martian landforms with information about their formation and characteristics will be used for relative aging. It will also be used to verify a falsifiable hypothesis. Our extensive rock and soil database simplify the process of identification and analyze by filtering their physical description to narrow down possibilities. To select a landing site, we examine the region enclosed by the provided coordinates using JMARS and HiRISE. This enabled us to identify a region with significant research potential that also met the engineering constraints.